Welcome to Drawfee, where we take your dumb ideas and make even dumber drawings. I'm Jacob. I'm Nathan. I'm Karina. And I'm Julia. And watch out, everyone. There's a ah! monster coming oh! to Wait, get you. Hey, don't call me that. It was Karina the whole time. <laughs> ah! The monster of Drawfee. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> <laughs> I'll kill you. <laughs> <laughs> but Karina is not the only monster out there. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, and our suggestion today is about monsters. It's from the Droppy Patreon Discord user Charlie, who said, Hello, Karina. What? I, w- I don't know why it's addressed to Karina <laughs> specifically, but it says, Hello, Karina. Oh, shit. I was thinking, could you folks do redesigns of classic movie monsters? <laughs> It's because I'm the monster. <laughs> yeah. So what do you think, Karina? Can we do that? <laughs> yeah, Karina, is that okay? Is that okay? I guess. I'll redo capitalism. Okay. That's not a movie monster, but yeah. I still like the joke. <laughs> That's a real world monster. That's a real world monster. <laughs> um, I hope it's okay with you, Karina, because we already did it as a speed draw episode. No way. <laughs> yeah. Surprise. <laughs> We took uh, old school movie monsters and we we're redoing them. We're doing them again different now. Yeah. Nathan, you are up first. Yeah. Woo. Tell us which monster you did, please. I did that big old shark from Jaws. Oh, Bruce. Jaws. Jaws. Bruce. I did Bruce. Bruce. I did Bruce. I did Bruce. I did Jaws from the movie Bruce. Wow. <laughs> His name's Bruce. Is his, his name Bruce. Bruce? Yes. The shark from Jaws is named Bruce. In the movie or in real life? In the movie. <laughs> they, they named the animatronic shark Bruce. I believe that. <laughs> yeah. I thought this was, I thought everyone would just be like, yeah, we all knew that. No, Julia, I didn't know that. Some of us are stupid. We're fake fans, <laughs> yeah, it turns fake, out. Fake but now Bruce I feel fans. like I'm dumb. Hold on. <laughs> no, I it's I believe you. Nathan, should I start? Yeah, start it. Okay. We'll talk about it. Three, two, one, go. I just wanted to draw some sharks. Yeah. <laughs> so I did. So it starts off with me just doing some some shark studies. Wow. Yeah, you are doing that. Wow. Roughing in some sharks. Oh. And then I was thinking, you know, like, because it's not... You know, it's just a big shark is the monster. It's not some like supernatural thing. But I was thinking if they were going to do like sort of a, a cheesy cash grab reboot of it, maybe space. Space shark. Oh. Maybe space. Maybe. Maybe what if Whoa. in space? Space Jaws. Space Jaws. Sort space of like Bruce. Call it like Jaws. 2050 or something jaws 3000 you know and then it's it's basically the same idea right it's like uh it's like a space resort and uh and people keep getting mysteriously dead and the space billionaires who run the space resort are like we don't we don't care just keep so cool. keep, <laughs> keep the space resort open. That's yeah, a big and one. Then, and then there'll be a scene where the space billionaire goes to escape on his escape pod, but there's old Bruce. There's old space Bruce. Space Bruce. And then the guy just goes, whoa, and then gets eaten. Wow. Yeah. This is Ooh. very cool. Oh, that's beautiful. So I figure, you know, if it's if it's an apex predator that lives in the void of space, it would need to have some sort of protective shell against all of the space rocks and stuff. Uh, and then maybe it would have some sort of camouflage to camouflage it in with the oh. with the stars, because that's kind of why most most sea creatures are are lighter on the bottom is because if you're looking up at them you're looking up at the the surface of the the water with the sun coming down that makes sense so it's to blend in it's a, it's a camouflage that's cool so i was thinking about that i didn't i didn't make it to how it actually like moves about in the vacuum of space <laughs> How dare you? It just goes. But I figure. I figure. You know, maybe it's got some sort of like uh, propulsion system. Maybe, maybe it does real, real powerful farts or something. You know. Space boosted. 
base boosted I exactly love your approach to this interesting approach it's like silhouette out yeah yeah i i was thinking i was gonna sort of do a, a render like a painterly render but then after i blocked in the the shadows i was like i kind of actually like this posterized look yeah yeah, yeah it looks really cool i stuck with that but then I run into problems later because I didn't make the background the actual color I wanted it to be. <laughs> of course. So yeah. I end up with this really nice sort of dark silhouette. And I'm like, wait, it's in space, which is also <laughs> going to be dark. Oh, Am I just no. going to lose the silhouette? So I, you know, we do some creative problem solving. We'll see how you solving. fix it. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see if what the consensus is on on whether i <laughs> fixed it but oh. <laughs> it's you know it's it's fine it's i i was happy with this with this monster shark i just wanted to draw a creature you know yeah cuz the other thing i was thinking about doing was king kong mm. but that's you know i draw a lot of apes already <laughs> kind of the rudest ape yeah yeah um but I just wanted to draw a creature. So cool. This is giving me like a Pacific Rim kaiju vibe. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, and definitely. I love that. That's very cool. Thanks. Yeah, I don't know what else this kind of looks like, but I was I, I I Googled space sharks just to see if other people had ideas about a space shark, and mostly it was just photoshops of actual sharks just in space. So they didn't have too many ideas. Yeah. They didn't have, not not in the first few results on Google. <laughs> yeah. Not image. much of value. <laughs> <laughs> they got the shark in space and they were like, that's as far as I can go. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Nice. Oh, that oh. doesn't stay. Oh, oh, never mind. I take it back. And then I was like, gradients? But then the gradients didn't really work because everything is already like so not gradient-y. So blocky. Oh, I kind of like that it's faded in. I know you lose a lot of your work, but yeah. like that's kind of the point of its camouflage. Yeah, it, in in a realistic sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's cool, but in an artistic sense, I totally get it. Yeah, hundred yeah. <laughs> percent. Yeah, bring it back. Bring yeah. it back. I want to see it. <laughs> yeah, we're just messing around here, trying to figure out how how it, this is going to make any sense. Um. And yeah, we're, you know, we, I did the redesign. The redesign's done. Yeah. I've got the design. Now I'm just <laughs> messing around with execution. And then I was like, no, I liked the way it looked before <laughs> with, the, <laughs> with the silhouetting. But then I kind of like the little underlighting. Yeah, like the secondary. I also never really figured out what the light sources were for this. It's space. Yeah. It's just space. There's a bunch of them. Maybe the maybe the space resort is off off screen a little bit. Oh, this is a good way to handle it. Yeah. Yeah, we're getting there. We do a lot of Ooh. Yeah, and so then I end up with this sort of purpley color for the yes. for the shading, That's which kind cool. of otherworldly yeah. made it look more otherworldly, more spacey. Uh, and also just sort of warmed it up. Yeah. As well. This is very cool, Nathan. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I was, I was pretty happy with how it turned out. It's so cool. Uh, Just messing around with the star patterning. I think sticking with the posterized was like yeah. the perfect choice for this. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. I add more tendrils, and then I was like, it complicates the the silhouette too much, so I take away all the tendrils and just just have it st stick with with shark shark no tendrils. One shark, no tendrils, please. Honestly, yeah. Yeah. Smart. I like it. <laughs> yeah. I was sad that you said you were going to get rid of the tendrils, but once you did, I was like, oh, yeah. It kind of works. The shark design itself is just so strong and good. Yeah. yeah. Thank like, you. Yeah. This is great. Yeah. It's a space yeah. shark. Yeah, space shark. I think this is one of my favorite pieces from you, Nathan. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Thank you so much. It's got so much. So much yeah, atmosphere. and it does have like Julia vibes. Yeah, like, like, it's, like this definitely fits Julia's like aesthetic. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, it, it, it's for you, Julia. Thank Here you, you go. Thank you. This is so cool. I really yeah. love all love the colors. It. Yeah, this was a fun challenge. 
I like drawing a big creature, it turns out, even if it's not a dinosaur. It's fun. Even then. Even, even then. then. Even still. <laughs> <laughs> Who's next? I'm next. Jacob, me. Wow. Uh, I have a few things to say before I start this one. Okay. Um, the first thing is I I messed up again. I started drawing a little before oh I started my recording. Oh, God. This so guy. There's, there's some sketch. I just I, I opened up the program to just like doodle around, and I ended up really liking what I doodled, and I was like, shit. Fair. <laughs> so I just started recording at that point. Um, the monster I chose to do was Frankenstein's monster. <gasps> oh. Uh, sort of a modernized take on that. And uh, also, I, I'm really happy with this one. I did more of like a character sheet style, but I was really happy with all the poses and, and expression work and stuff. So I'm excited to show it to y'all. Sweet. Let's go. Three, two, one, go. So you can see the sketch there that I had already had. Hell yeah. Um, oh, oh, he's a cute. Little guy. So I decided I wanted to go with sort of a take on Frankenstein's monster that sort of gave it more agency over itself and so i like this idea of sort of like the inventor frankenstein being the monster and doing self-modification oh to sort of like become the the monster that they want to be and like hot swapping parts for like different purposes so sort of like a, a futuristic take on like well, that's cool changing your own body to suit your your needs and desires. So I've got like a cool non-binary Frankenstein that I'm calling Stein. Yes, mm. nice. Um, and so then I was just sketching around like trying out different parts. Like I think you know what if they could replace their hands with like more like animalistic parts for like combat or different things. I went very anime with it. <laughs> I feel like, didn't you do sort of something like this for one of our character challenges? There was yes. like a like an old woman. Yeah. Yeah, you're totally right. I didn't, I forgot about that entirely, but <laughs> it's definitely a similar vibe. Because in that episode, I also mentioned, oh, this is kind of giving me Frankenfran vibes. And I still don't know what that is. Well, shit. Next time we're together in person, I'll have to lend you volume one. <laughs> yeah, you'll have to show and me. And then I'll never get it back. <laughs> yep. Oh, they're cute. Yeah. I like the idea too of like they swap out like the back of their hair. So like the, the texture of like the long hair doesn't match the top hair because they, they swap it out. Like sometimes it's curly, sometimes it's straight, sometimes it's long, sometimes it's short. Oh, and these then poses. Um, got like a big paw over here on this one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Halloween must be a blast for Stein. Yeah. <laughs> and I just thought it was like a cool, fun idea. I agree. Yeah. Absolutely. Instead of uh, being... Because in, in the book Frankenstein, Frankenstein's monster does not have sort of the best time. No. Of no. It. no um, they, their life is brief and unpleasant. And yeah, very unpleasant. But not Stein. No. No. Stein's having a good time. Yeah, Stein seems to be having a great time. Yeah. But I was really happy with the poses and also like the hand holding the scalpel because I, I didn't use reference for anything. So like nice. when I drew the scalpel hand, I was like, damn, dude, didn't, <laughs> didn't know you could even draw a hand like that. And I like that you've combined the doctor and the monster so that uh, you can make all the pedants out there shut up. Exactly. <laughs> um, actually, it's Frankenstein's monster. Well, it's both. Not this it's time. Actu it's actually both. Yeah. Yeah. Frankenstein is Frankenstein's monster. Oh, I love yeah. this one. They're so cute. I know. I, I was really happy with how cute they were. And I, immediately I was like, oh, I'm going to get the fan art on this one. <laughs> oh, I was shit, rubbing yeah. my hands. I was like, I'm going to get some fan art for this one, baby. <laughs> you heard him. <laughs> Because there's a lot of room for fan art here. You can swap out the parts. Yeah. Do your own interpretations. Just draw anything and that's them. <laughs> that's them. Uh, yeah. In this pose, I've got the hidden eye is sort of like a, maybe like a cat eye or something, like something with good night vision. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what sort of combat Stein has to engage in that they need these capabilities, but probably there's like foes. 
Yeah, there's there's probably a mob of village people. Probably. Maybe there's like other sort of, you know, monster people who do evil things. Oh, sure. And Stein's got to get out there and stop him, but also being a monster person causes complications. Of course. You know how it goes with that sort of thing. It's it's a whole it's a whole thing. It's a whole damn thing. I had to lean in and check that you were using good pen. It's good pen. Oh, that's good. That pen. pen, That pen's good. (laughs) Yeah. That's my main pen. It's my main pen too. I've yet to find one I like better. We match. (laughs) I think it's fun too because we use it very differently. Yeah. So it like it has a different vibe in your work than in my work. It looks so cool in yours. It looks cool in yours. Shut the fuck up. Okay. Oh. (laughs) Oh, <laughs> I'm not taking it back. <laughs> fucking drawing. <laughs> it's really fucking good. So shut up. You got me there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This hand is so good. <laughs> yeah, Man. I was I was you're, so stoked on that hand. Your practice is really showing. And that's great. Color. Yeah, I've been working really hard on uh, a lot of like pose and gesture and stuff yeah. lately. So and it this using my books. I've not been using the books. I know. Anyway, <laughs> I like these colors. <laughs> At least I didn't lie to you about it. You've activated my trap card. <laughs> Sorry, I had to. Ah, uh, ooh, so good. I do sort of just like a basic like cell shading type of color pass on this to to get the vibes. Yeah, I love this bluish tone you have going on thank you it's a lot easier for me to color if i pick one tone (laughs) range to work (laughs) in it makes it so it's harder for me to mess it up with my stupid colorblind eyeballs i think you do great if the skin's all green and blue it can't be wrong (laughs) (laughs) it looks great thank you yeah, this one was a lot of fun. It's, I mean, character design challenges are always the most fun to me. Yeah. Yeah. As soon as I start drawing a character and I'm like, uh-oh, I love them. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh-oh, I love them. Uh-oh, my OC. Damn it, did a good job again. <laughs> That's when I know that I'm happy with the work is when I see the character and I'm like, damn, I love this character. Yeah. Yeah. Give me more. Oh, you changed the highlights. Yeah, I changed the highlights. I've heard of, Stein's gate, but I think Stein's great. Hey. hey. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Same, Nathan. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is the, the final product. I, wow. I, was, I thought it was really cool. I yeah. love these poses. Wow. Yeah. I'm obsessed with the one on the left, but also the hand on the right becoming the claw thing is very cool. Well yeah, done. thank you. Thank you so much. I hope you all enjoy Stein and draw me lots of fan art of them. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be watching Twitter like a hawk. Beautiful. Ah, Great work. Woo. I'm Dunzo. Let's see what Karina's got in store. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Karina, what you do? So I did the creature from the Black Lagoon, and I struggled with this one, and then I put it off till the last minute and phoned it in. Nice. And then I didn't do the prompt. I kind of just drew the creature of the Black Lagoon. (laughs) You can't improve on perfection. It's exactly what I was thinking, because I like couldn't decide who to do, so I kept putting it off all week. And then I was like, well, I love La Creatura, but like, I just think he's already perfect as he is. I love that he's a fish. I love his big dopey mouth. And <laughs> like, I can't sexify him because they already did that in Shape of Water. Oh, yeah. true. So then I started thinking about the themes of uh, the Creature Trilogy. And so that's kind of what I was riffing on more than anything. It's less of a redesign and more of just like a modernization slash recontextualizing this fella, I suppose. That's a redesign. Yeah, that works. Uh, yeah. Sure. Uh, and then I did it. I did it this morning. <laughs> let's, let's get so. into it. Let's take a look. Three, two, one, go. So uh, I, uh, I, uh, <laughs> uh, 
Uh, I started uh, thinking about uh, the the story of La Creatura because it's it's a story of it's a kind of a Beauty and the Beast story. Like he's just a little guy. He's just a critter, and he just like. Uh, ignore that I'm drawing a room. He just like wants <laughs> love, <laughs> and it's it's kind of a story about being lonely. And it kind of like in my like sleep addled brain because I did that thing again where I had a headache the second I was gonna work on this. So that's <laughs> also why I did it this morning. Uh, it's currently three p.m. <laughs> so um, uh, so I was it, I was just like the the synapses were connecting of like oh. You know, that's kind of such a still relatable problem, especially in the past two years, uh, especially for people who live in these kind of like big urban areas like us, where you're just kind of isolated in your little apartment. So uh, because in the third creature of the Black Lagoon movie, he actually does kind of sort of like become more humanoid and like they're trying to like put him in i guess society i don't know i haven't watched it i took one horror movie course in college and that teacher turned out to be a pest so i forgot it um (laughs) and so i was just like oh you know when when the uh panini first started a lot of people got really into collecting plants and stuff and i think that had a lot to do with kind of yearning for uh nature and stuff which is kind of what the the creature at the black lagoon the gill man do so i was like oh he's just this is my modern take where he is kind of in a society but he's like also uh (laughs) it's just kind of stuck like the rest of us i suppose you know i've been saying for years (laughs) That we kind of live in a society. Yeah. Reject society. Return to La Creatura. And um, and Return so to tub. I just kind of wanted to draw him sitting sadly in a tub because that was just the image that was stuck in my head. But I also just kind of like freehanded it because I wanted to really capture that feeling of being alone in your apartment for long periods of time. Yeah. And being kind of like, because, you know, his whole thing is that he's he's like a missing link and people want to study him, but they also don't understand him. So he's just like, you know, they're just like, oh, he's a monster. So uh, I'm just I'm just like, damn, ain't that just the way if you're a lonely fella? So I, I just freehanded the whole thing because I kind of wanted to get that sort of dissociative feeling of being alone. Yeah. This is such a cool composition. <laughs> oh, you really you. went for it in the <laughs> in the comp. Uh, I also did everything also in the, like a really posterized kind of uh, graphic style because I did this. This is the fastest I've done a speed draw because I did it this morning and I needed to render it <laughs> before we recorded. <laughs> so uh, I did everything like with just a hard brush really quickly uh, and really loosely. Um, with these big black shadows, because uh, it would save me a lot of time in the color. <laughs> Feels very graphic novel panel. Yeah, I think that's what I was going for, I think. I don't know. I kind of turned my brain off for this Say. one. I was just thinking about la creatura. <laughs> <laughs> I just think he's neat. <laughs> I think we all are now. Yeah. So. I don't know. He's You've just, got us thinking. He's got a sad story. And I was just like, yeah. ain't that just relatable, though? I'm sure a lot of people feel like that, especially over the course of the past couple years. Yeah. Where you're just kind of on your own and misunderstood. And maybe, you know, you got shit going on and you feel like a little monster that scientists are bothering and you just want the attention of a woman. But then no one understands you and you lash out. Yeah. So I don't know. <laughs> yeah. And you're just sort of a soggy fish guy. Yeah. yeah. And you're just a guy. And then I was like, he would totally be into like using the internet because like then no one has to know that he's like a scary guy. <laughs> but he's still kind of stuck in this place. I don't know. <laughs> His online that username is Normel Man. Yeah, it's him. <laughs> it's him, the Normel Man. 
Uh, the main thing I wanted to do with this was just have them sitting in a bathtub so I could draw like cool water. <laughs> That's kind of it. But this is this is where I landed on that. And um, so cool whoa. looking. I wanted to give it kind of like really poppy colors. Like I just I, I filter it later, but I just kind of like eyeballed it. And uh, I guess I guess my color picking came from uh, the hotter kind of like more pinkish colors are like uh uh well the cooler colors in the blue and green range are like the natural stuff and then uh um, oh, yeah. the whites are in the bathtub because i just thought that i wanted that to be the focus and then yeah. i wanted to do that Ooh. water effect and that's Ooh. it that's all i wanted to accomplish with this <laughs> <laughs> nice. and then all the pinks are like more confining uh yeah damn you thought about it i just him to be sad it's because i didn't think about anything else <laughs> <laughs> i had no idea what to do with this piece because i think all of the monsters that are famous like they're famous because like they're good <laughs> well yeah yeah so i didn't know how to do anything else so i just did my best i mean it ended up being such a cool piece that's like not like your usual stuff so it's Thank really you. fun yeah. to see <laughs> It was fun to like do something different. So then I just kind of like filter it a little, put on a little gradient map to kind of do the colors a bit more. And then uh, what did I do? I was just kind of filtering it at this point, and I did like some chromatic aberration. I always say abrasion, but then Spencer rudely told me that was incorrect. So oh, whatever. Rude. So because I wanted it again to have that dissociative feeling of loneliness. So like yeah. The further out parts are more, oh yeah, fuzzy. Whereas in the center, it's still focused. Yeah, and that's my sad, sad <laughs> la creatura. Wow, damn, <laughs> the most relatable monster of all. He's just a little guy, and I like him just the way he is. He's all of us. <laughs> He's I would all chat of with us. him on the internet. <laughs> yeah, gladly. What's his? AIM screen name. <laughs> Leave it in the comments down below. <laughs> you think he watches Joffy? Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> if you do reach out, you yeah, can guess. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> this is really rad, though. Thank you. Yeah, this is super I cool. I didn't know what to do. <laughs> So I did <laughs> yeah. this. I, I wanted to give him little moss balls because I also acquired a little moss ball over the panini. <laughs> You're the creature. Like, yeah, if you acquired a little moss ball <laughs> over the past few years, like the video, please, so we all know that we're together in this shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Moss ball havers unite. Yes. Well, let's... That's it. <laughs> Finish it. Let's yeah. finish the fight with Julia. Halo Bring 3, Julia. Home. Halo 3, Julia. Um, I did uh, Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde. Woo. It's the one Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde fan in like the back of the audience. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's me. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we stand. <laughs> Relatable. I have a lot of complicated feelings about Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde, but... I have so many feelings about it that I fully just shut off and <laughs> I laid on the floor at some point because I wow. overthought it so much that uh, last night I just kind of had to do it. So Great. Oh, similar boats. <laughs> yeah, we'll get into it. Let's watch it. Yeah. Let's watch it. Three, two, one, go. So like I said, I had a lot of problems with this. Um, but basically the thing that I like the most about Dr. Jekyll, and Mr. Hyde is that it's essentially that he, he is the monster, uh, that they are not two different people. I like, I was looking up the, uh, you know, inspiration for the story and it's that, uh, Stevenson, uh, his friend was arrested for killing his wife and kid. Oh. And so... Um, and he was really surprised by that. But then he went to the trial and found out that the man was like really like a, a very horrific person. And so he was really surprised by the fact that this this guy who was so friendly um, 
turned out to be such like a, a terrible person. So I really like the angle that, you know, it's basically about, um, you know, it, it, it's, it's like pretty obviously about like alcoholism in a little bit in that it's like turning him into the worst version of himself, but it's still him, you know, like he cannot escape himself. So the idea that I had for this was that every time uh, the monster comes out, every time he like, you know, drinks the the potion, quote unquote, um, he gets trapped in his own mind. Like he cannot escape this part of himself. So he just kind of has to like weather this eternal storm until he figures out how to, you know, become better. Uh, and, you know, defeat this part of himself that is so, uh, bad for everyone, including himself and mostly himself, really, because, you know, as the story says, he doesn't really want to be this monster, uh, cause he's trying to get rid of it, uh, the whole time. So why does he keep drinking the potion? Isn't that to, to temper it? Like, oh. like the potion keeps the monster out. I see. So. Um, yeah, so I, I had an idea that he, every time the monster comes out, you know, then the story switches to him being trapped in his own mind, um, uh, where he has to outrun the, the monster part and kind of, you know, keep intact the, the part of him that is, you know, kind and that he it likes, you know, the, yeah. like the good part. This is so cool. Uh, and I wanted sort of like that, um, like classic monster movie poster kind of feel. Yeah. Uh, so I, I used a lot of uh, constructivism uh, inspiration, which is that like big red and, and black poster work with the big shapes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then the, the shading on it, since it's like, you know, it was kind of like 50s, 60s printing. Uh, you get a lot of like uh, speckled dark colors. Uh, I changed my brush to a dissolve so that there's, it basically just like fades out towards the end, but it's still like hard dots. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so basically he is trapped in a world that is himself, it is the part of himself that he's trying to get rid of. So, you know, he's running in a difficult landscape uh, that's like sand and uh, it's just hard, you know, hard terrain. And then the monster is so big and so encompassing. And because it's himself, it's hard to outrun yourself. Um, you know, it's, it's kind of everywhere. You know, this yeah. big hand coming up like through the sand to grab him. But also it's like always watching and, and things like that. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's a cool concept. I really like this story. I think that it's like one of the the most like, you know, uh, unfortunately sort of like we, we all in, to some degree know like a Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde, maybe to not, you know, the degree of him in the story, hopefully not. But we all know someone who's like maybe a little two-faced or maybe, you know, has parts of them that that they would rather not a gemini a ge yeah a gemini hey. <laughs> <laughs> i'm about to show you my mr hyde side right now because i'm yeah. mr hyde so it's my ass, hey. <laughs> it's my ass. <laughs> very good uh, um but yeah i wanted like the sand so like the hand has just popped up so there's all the sand like getting pushed down the, the fingertips and um i wanted the eye to be um there's a, a scene in the fall where this woman's running through this uh fortress and there's a whole part where the whole thing looks like an eyeball and it's always watching her but it's actually just the landscape so i wanted that to kind of be in there too um like everything is always watching and always reaching for you yeah, that's cool. You have to preserve yourself against it. Um, yeah. 
I do have a counterpoint, Julia. Yes. And it's that Good. in the Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde NES game. Okay. Uh-huh. Um, Mr. Hyde, Mr. Hyde's the only one who can punch. And so you have to become him to punch the bats or else they'll kill you. Okay. Oh, yeah. And I don't think okay. you really included that aspect. Yeah, Julia, where are the bats that he you needs know, to punch? I forgot about the bats. I apologize. Yeah, so Mr. Hyde is bad, but also he can punch bats. But also he can punch the bats. Yeah. And so like that's that's sort of part of That's part of him too. Yeah. Okay. The bat the bat punch <laughs> part. But do you see how hard those speckles are? Like it's just like there's no Yeah. There's no soft gradient there. Yeah, it's got a real makes it have a really cool look. Like Yeah. Print, I wanted it to be look. like a like when you get that real nasty airbrush. Yeah. 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 Or like spray paint or something. This has such good vibes. Thank you. You do that by, by making it dissolve. Yeah. But I, I like the, the story of him, you know, it's it's him basically struggling and trying to be better and trying to figure out how to how to be, you know, a better version of himself. But he does have this, you know, monstrous side inside him. I love the use of red. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. this was a, a hard one for me because uh, my favorite monsters are always just like a person. <laughs> They're just some fella. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that's a really cool interpretation. Thank you. The ultimate monster, some guy. <laughs> some guy. I mean, <laughs> am I right, ladies? Oh, I also <laughs> forgot to say that the that the other inspiration for this piece was uh, uh, the Ico game cover. Oh yeah, I could see that because they're they're running through, being surrounded by these big looming buildings. This is rad. This rule is very cool. Is Thank you. I tried to do something very different. Cool poster. Thank you. Man, everyone's were so good. Yeah. Yeah, it was fun. We all went really different directions. Yeah. We all love monsters. Yeah, monsters are good. Movies with monsters are good. Are all of our monsters also from books? Yes. I don't know. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah? That seems, is Jaws a book? Jaws is a book. Jaws is a book. Yeah. Yeah, then you, we'll say yes. And if we're wrong, <laughs> let us know in the comments below. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's engagement, baby. <laughs> we'll take it. Well, thanks so much for watching our monsters episode. I hope it didn't turn you into a monster. Oh. <laughs> but if it did, use your big monster claw to click like and subscribe. Yeah. <laughs> and if you didn't turn into a monster, but you are scared, then scream really loud in our Patreon Discord, which you can <laughs> join by becoming a patron through our Patreon. And if you want to become a monster, drink the potion that takes you to our Twitch. <laughs> On Monday nights. Amazing. <laughs> and where do you get the potion, you may be asking? <laughs> <laughs> Our merch store. <laughs> Links in the description. We're sorry. 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 <laughs>